you've all probably seen one of these. It's a cross cutting sled. Piece of half inch BC plywood. Have two hardwood rails, in this case oak. Drop in the slots. It's about 21 by 40. This is 8 quarters poplar stock, makes a nice sense. If you make yourself one like this, remember to put a little height back here for the fact that you can cut thicker stock. You may want to do it out front if you do a lot of thick stock and want to start in front of the blade. You'll cut through stock this high if you don't have a taller piece. When I do thicker stock, I usually start with the blade in here already and run it up. Most of the time it's not very wide. So, if you do a lot of thick, wide stock, then you need uh, a high fence here as well. Uh, pretty basic. Um, I coated it with some shellac. I waxed the table and waxed the rails. And it's a very safe, very safe, very useful jig in the shop. If you don't have one, you really should consider making one. You can clamp a rail here, like a piece of plywood or something, can be clamped. And then a stop can be fastened with a clamp. If you do repetitive lengths, you get real nice, repeatable cuts. Very tear-out free because it's backed up by the cut line is backed up by material on both sides, so another, another advantage over a miter gauge. I just like that you get your hand out away from the blade, and uh, you can see what you're doing. Almost no sawdust kicks back at you. I tend to not wear glasses, although I probably should. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. If you don't have one yet, you really should take the time to make one. It takes about three hours, maybe two or three hours. Uh, if that, maybe not that long for you. For you um, you want to glue these down and screw them good and take your time to get it square and so forth. Works well for me. Thanks. Have a good day.